What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will at What's Up in the Sky 37. And now you can catch me online at What's Up in the Sky dot com. Um, I'll show you real fast. I just decided two days ago that I was going to make a website and uh, put up all my videos and then also add a bunch of uh, other researchers. I've already talked to two or three researchers. And if you're one of them, I'm most likely going to be contacting you um, about this. So hopefully if you want to... Uh, join in on it. Either way, I'm going to post some videos. If you've got embedded on your files, I'm going to probably post a couple of your really good videos. Um, but I want some of the researchers to contact me if you want your stuff to go up there. I'm going to, I want to put up articles, pictures, you name it. So anyway, let's get off of that and let's go back to what I was showing you today. And I'm not sure, I haven't seen this one online, but I just found it when I was looking through the uh, curiosities. I'm sure somebody else has found it. Um, as always, you can check the description. I'll give you the link here right below. And let's go ahead and pull this up. Hopefully we got it right there. Yep, here we go. All right, this is a, uh, like I said, a curiosity. This is Mars. This was taken you know, not too long ago. This probably came out. This is the same area where the dinosaur uh, supposedly bones are from where I've got the video on here. But let's go ahead and take get at it. Uh, first thing, I was showing this to uh, my family members, and they said, oh, that looks like an upside-down boat. And to me, it looks like something that's been carved uh, right here of course and I'm gonna get you bring it in a little bit bigger so you can see it I've noticed that when I keep it small like that on my screen a lot of times I don't think everybody can see it so let me try and adjust the brightness and the contrast maybe a tad and it's not that bad how it already is um, let me sharpen it up just a little bit alright so you can see here it's got a perfect front it's got the perfect shape of a boat if you've uh, I mean, everybody that's watching this video I know has seen a boat, and if you flip this over, and if this was wood, or if this was something that uh, was had some water buoyancy to it, it could float. Um, it would be amazing to see what's under that. You can tell it's attached to other rocks here, and if you watch any of my videos, I, I believe that Mars uh, suffered some, you know, had a civilization similar to ours, who really knows how they evolved on the planet, how similar they were. Um, but right next to it here, you've got this this object which looks to be something that was carved out maybe a bowl it's got a, a rim up here let me see if I can pull that in a little bit um, you can see now this one seems to be carved as well this has got a uh, something coming out of it almost like a cuckoo clock would open up <laughs> which is very interesting and this whole little area right here is very interesting to me the rocks the where was the one I was just looking at this right here seems to have also that same cut to it looked to be chiseled away. Um, if they'd been sitting up there for two million years, who knows what this stuff would really look like now? There's also some interesting anomalies over here. If you check this, this is where the, the picture cuts off, and I can't find another one with that same little area in it. As you can see, this rock is just being held up there. It almost looks like this is some sort of. Uh, you know, a fossil of something that died. But this rock doesn't seem to be that much in the ground. This must have to go into the ground pretty deep to hold that rock on that. Or be a very light rock, maybe. It's very lightweight. Um, but I thought that was very interesting. If you see how this actually has a spot you can look through it there, it uh, almost looks to be something that was alive at one time or definitely carved, something along those lines. And if you look at what's been strewn about here, I use that word a lot in my videos, you can just see some interesting things. Um, up here you, you can see this object. It's a round object here. There's a circle. And it's got these uh, almost like four legs or feet coming off of it. That's very interesting. And that had a couple things. Let's just go back to there, take a look at our boat again. To me, that's just too cool. I said, even if this stuff is just natural up there, I mean, it's marvelous what nature can do if this is all it is. But when I see stuff like this, it just looks like it's something that was pieced together. This, like, it could have been a head of something or part of a statue. Um, like I said, this has a lip around it. This is about the fifth or sixth object just like this I've seen just in these videos. Um, so it's time to open up your mind. Uh, forget what we were told back in science class uh, about what's on Mars, what's on other planets, because at no time in human civilization have we ever known everything, or will we ever know everything. So, much love, guys. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, subscribe. Hope you can see on my new website, and take it easy. All right, much love.